completely different game as if uh, you connect. As a matter of fact, Sonic and Knuckles, if you play through it without Sonic 3, mm -hmm. there's no water in this game. Well, I'm Jewish no producer, and I'm going to be your guide for this trip. <laughs> <Hell yeah. laughs> Sega! Sega! Oh, yeah. But uh, the funny thing, man, is, um, like, it's a totally different game. Sonic 3 plays out different, and Sonic and Knuckles plays out different. And also, originally, on the Sonic and Knuckles cartridge, mm -hmm. you can't play Tails in it. But if you connect the Sonic 3 cartridge, you can play as Tails. My favorite game since I was like. That's, that's quite uh, an interesting I fact. When I started playing Sonic. Uh, do you use Steam online? What do you mean, Steam? Do you know the, the website Steam? Uh, no, I have not checked it out yet. Oh my god. I've, I've been told about so many websites that I need to check out. But... Steam is the one, man. You can um, download me like tons and tons of games from there. Uh, re the real game to your PC, and it's uh, it's and they always have like specials, discounts, and you can always find a really good deal on some of the older games. Uh, but they have a huge yeah. library to choose from, and uh, highly recommended. I am a big fan of Steam. Uh, you ever been on uh, Newgrounds.com? I have now. New it's wicked, dude. Uh, there's two games that you can find on there. They got a lot of online flash games. Yeah, I see there's that. Games I recommend one is New York Shark. You go around as a shark flying through New York. You can even drag down planes and eat Spider-Man in it. Oh. Okay. That's one to other, keep in mind. The other is, uh, and actually this is just a demo. Uh, supposedly, if you click around somewhere online, you'll be able to actually order this game. It's called uh, Corpses of the Third Reich. You play as this Laura Croft type chick. And basically, you go around shooting Nazi zombies. Okay, that sounds all right. Um, by the way, uh, <laughs> it's got a lot of streamers in it. There are zombie heads that will pop out at you mm -hmm. while you're playing the game just randomly. Right. Screen. Uh, if you don't want it to do that, there's a setting to turn that off. So. But it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of different weapons you can get. It's a pretty good. Uh, uh, it's kind of a horror game and a side scroller all in one. Hmm. I don't see that shark game you're talking about. Sharks in New York, or it's called uh, New York Shark. Oh, New York Shark. New York Shark. Oh, there it is. Wow, highly rated, four and a half stars out of five. Oh, yeah. It's badass, dude. Yes. I would uh, I'd highly recommend that game. It's funny shit. <laughs> I, remember, uh, I remember when that one uh, first came out. It was uh, 2011. I had the high score on it at that time. Nice. And it's been years, I'm sure I've been trampled over on it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Once these uh, gaming nerds uh, get to it, it's hard to beat those high scores. I don't know how some of these guys do it. They must find all the hacks, and uh, I don't know. Do games like this, like little Flash games, have hacks? Uh, there are ways so you can download them and hack them. Actually, uh, there's a, uh... Yay! 
yeah. 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 Dude, I'm eating stuff, I'm throwing, uh, I'm eating everything. King Kong! I just bit King Kong's balls! Total destruction. All right. Whoa, man. That game is pure chaos. Wow. Would that not make a great iPhone app? That would that would be a great ringtone. Just having that play when I get a phone call. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, what was that other one? I was. Do you, have you ever seen all your bass are belong to us? Yes, I remember when that shit came out. Yeah. I've been fucking around with new rounds since about two thousand three. Oh okay, so you know all the old ones then. Oh yeah, long time user. I've had like 14 different accounts with them over the years. What happened? Someone set up a on. We get signal. What? Main screen turn on. It's you. How are you gentlemen? All your base are belong to us. I am Jimmy Lethal. You are on the way for this version. What do you say? You have no chance to survive, mate. Your time. <laughs> What's that? You know, that's actually, uh, they actually made that meme from a uh, Sega Genesis game. Hell yeah. Uh, Z yeah. It's actually a really badass shooter game. But the the Japanese to English translation was so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it makes it perfect. Oh, yeah. It, it, you know, they always talk about that. The English, uh, you know, if you actually beat the game, the English gets worse and worse and worse. <laughs> it's flawless broken English. Oh, it's perfect. You could not have written that any better. Oh, yeah. It, you can't make that kind of shit up, dude. <laughs> it's like this thing that I saw on the internet where uh, this nigger uh, called the cops because uh, he ordered food at McDonald's and he, uh, he ordered seven McDoubles and they only gave him sticks. <laughs> That's crazy. You can't make that shit up. <laughs> All your base like, are belong uh, to us. <laughs> hmm. Yes. 
What do you have for lunch? Uh, actually, I haven't. Uh, this is still. Jimmy, lunch. look at me. What do you mean you don't didn't have lunch? This is still morning for me, man. Bruh, you yeah. gotta eat. What did you have for breakfast? Pizza. Okay. You, at least you had some nutrition. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a lot, man. I eat pizza and pasta, like, consistently. Where? At Costco? <laughs> I said, like, consistently. Oh, where do you where do you get the pizza from? I either make it at home or uh, I order it. Like, do a frozen pizza, you mean? Or do you actually yeah. make one? Oh, okay, okay. Or sometimes I'll make a frozen pizza if I'm feeling lazy, what? but normally what? when I make a pizza, I lay out the dough and everything. Oh hell yeah! What what's the best frozen pizza? Because some of them are pretty good. Some of them are really bad, though. It it depends. Uh, there are certain ones I'll never get again. But yeah. my taste in pizza is compared. I'm one of those guys. Um, when I eat pizza, that's where I get my vegetables from. I'm one of those guys that loaded up with peppers and fucking all kinds of shit. <clears throat> on average, uh, what I put on pizza, pepperoni, green peppers, mushrooms, olives, chives, and banana peppers. And if I've got them lying around in the cabinet, anchovies. Oh, yeah. There you go. That's that's some sophisticated uh, pizza making right there once you get to the anchovies, man. A lot of people are oh, like, yeah. eh, they're salty, they're that... Man, shut up and eat the anchovies. They're good. That, so many people don't like them, and I, I just don't get it. So many people don't. Yeah. Awesome. They don't get I it. I mean, you don't ever do them on the pizza, but, I mean, they're good. Now, uh, do you have water at the house? Yeah. Nice. Actually, I'm still in the apartment. Um, if you look over here, there's a lot of bags. That's, uh, -huh. uh basically I've had, that's basically all my game systems except for the Saturn and the Genesis. Hmm. All of those have a lot of value. Oh, yeah. If I, uh, well, it's, it's got a Mega Man sticker on it, so that, that probably... <laughs> some, down a little. Yeah, some computer nerd will be like, it's got a Mega Mine on it. Yeah. I actually have the, the Model 1 um, Nintendo. Mm hmm. Edition. Those go up there. They get pretty expensive. Actually, the Sega Saturn I'm playing on right now, it, it's up there anymore. That is just. When I got mine, it cost me forty bucks. But now the best deal I've seen for it online mm -hmm. is like uh, sixty bucks. Most people want at least a hundred for it. I can get a uh, the add-ons for Genesis, like the Sega CD and the thirty-two um, X. Mm -hmm. With personally. And, don't buy a Sega CD. The 32X is worth it. It's a pain in the ass to hook up. But the Sega CD, the, the main reason to get the Sega CD is there's a game called Sonic CD. If you own a GameCube or a Wii, you can just get a copy of uh, Sonic Gems Collection and have that game. But uh, the 32X for the uh, Sega Genesis has the best home port of Doom. Interesting. Very. Yeah, you're not play, if you want to play Doom on a home console, the 32X is the way to go. They tried to uh, to make a version of Doom for the Saturn that would run well as it did for the 32X, and it pulled off. I mean, it did well, especially when you compare it to the uh, Super Nintendo version of Doom, which mm. definitely. Never yeah, I mean, it looks cool as fuck with its red cartridge, with its red cartridge and all, but the Super Nintendo version 
of that game, it, it sucks. For it's, you're talking about you're talking about Doom, right? Doom. Were you talking about Doom? Yeah. Specifically, you're talking about Doom Three, though. No, I'm talking about the first game. Oh yeah, that was one of the first games I ever fully like. You know, I'm I was always into sports games a lot. But when it came to like those kinds of games, um, like with the gaming systems and stuff, that was one of the first that I actually went all the way through and completed, like won the game. Games, man, definitely the uh, Sega Genesis. Yeah. Do you do you go through each game and finish like all the levels? Is that your your thing? <clears throat> I beat most of these games, and as you can see. I have a large collection. Oh, yeah. That's a huge collection. Oh, my God. That's a good, co I that's a good collection. I want to a lot of stuff from my childhood, too. Mm-hmm. Like a Dragon Ball on VHS. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I took care of most of my stuff. I still don't have my first Sega Saturn. Mm -hmm. I remember putting a, uh, a, a acting stupid as a kid and putting a um, I put a grilled cheese sandwich in my first Sega Saturn. Yeah, that's a kid. that's a good that's a big mistake. You're not supposed to do that. <laughs> oh yeah, but I think the main <laughs> reason I did it as a kid was at the time Pokemon came out, mm -hmm. and I, my parents to get me in Nintendo 64. So I figured if I acted like a dumbass and put a uh, grilled cheese sandwich in my Sega Saturn, it'd get, they'd get me a Nintendo 64. Nice. I still have a Nintendo 64 today. Sometimes you got to fight to get what you want out of life. Oh, yeah. It's all about sacrifice, man. After Pokemon Stadium came out, and I was like seven or eight years old and... I was like, I have to have this. And they were like, no, you already have a game console. I said, oh, yeah. <laughs> Real cheap. My parents were like, oh, yeah. Looking at these systems, and they were like, okay, well, there is a difference. Oh, you were able to get them to see it your way? Yeah. I don't have my first Dreamcast, though, and there's a reason for that. My little sister's got it. What it was, my little sister taught me smoking when I was a kid. Uh -huh. And you deal with her. You don't rat on me, and, and you keep this a secret. I'll give you my Sega Dreamcast. Ooh. So, I got what I wanted. She kept her mouth shut for years. <laughs> nice. Does she smoke now? Nah, my sister don't smoke. Wow. Seldomly drinks. Very seldomly drinks. What does she do? She go to school? Nah, she's a waitress down in Texas. Oh, all right. Well, Did not know that she uh, uh so she must be younger than you then. Yeah. It's my okay. little sister. Gotcha. And then my older brother, it, he's the Xbox fan of the family. He's He's got all the Xbox shit. You, you know what game I grew up with? This is the one I got. In television. You remember in television? I don't think you probably so, uh, yeah, ever, yeah, ever knew. I know what you're talking about. The, and the television, uh, the Coleco. And the it's kind of like Coleco, yeah. It was at the time of Atari, the the first Atari game system, and and in television was its rival, and it was badass. Like I was so good at those games, I could not be beat. Then Nintendo came out on the market. And... Yeah, Nintendo killed everybody, everybody's system. Yeah, they were way better. I actually have a uh, Nintendo, the original Nintendo Game Boy. That might be worth a few pennies. Those, uh, depending on what model you have, those uh, rank up there. Huh. 
I'll have to check it out. I forgot the the model name, but it's one of the like probably the one of the first ones made. If my life ever goes to shit, mm -hmm. I can sell all, all this stuff, and I'll I'll have uh, quite a bit to uh, get a fresh start. <laughs> yeah, good shoppers, man. That's the key to life. Shop good, shop well. Oh, yeah. upload all this shit to my Amazon account, man. I'd be rich overnight. You know, I. I sell things on eBay often, and um, at one point I have, you know, I, it, all the sales go to my PayPal account, you know, and um, my pay for a while my PayPal PayPal account was really high. It was like close to a thousand bucks all the time, and I was like, I was I was spending money off of it. It just kept, you know, always having money on it because I was always selling something. So that's the where uh, where I order my my Sega Saturn shit. Yeah, and there's such a huge selection on there. Oh yeah. If you look hard enough, you could probably find super cheap deals. I'd imagine. You know, originally when I I started, uh, I brought all my shit out of the shed and I started collecting again. I. Uh, I originally thought that most of the best deals I would get would come from eBay. But the funny thing is, um, like, Panzer Dragon right here. Mm -hmm. I got this on Amazon. But at the same time, uh, definitely don't have... The, uh, Amazon, uh, it's hit or miss, man. It's either the best deal ever or you're getting ripped off. A snake, a snake, a snake. But it was with niggers. Mm. They were going, nigger, 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 <laughs> jail time, jail time. <laughs> Frightening. <laughs> I watched a movie today that was kind of disturbing. Do you ever see a movie called Tusk? No, I haven't. Dude, check that one out. It's crazy. <laughs> Tusk. You know who Kevin Smith is? Kevin Smith made um, a movie called Clerks, and he's made a few, few... It's a Kevin Smith movie. And it's pretty... I, I don't want to... Uh, I won't give it away. Yes, dude. Oh, so you've heard about it, kind of, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's sort of like Human Centipede in a way. Yeah. That's awesome. All right. That's exactly how, uh, yeah, it was described. The Human Centipede. Oh... Oh, yeah. You know, actually, when you look down here at my VHS, I actually had shit in, in those VHS tapes that nobody has recorded from television. On VHS? Yeah. One of them's got some old-ass episodes of The Daily Show. Real early shit. That's pretty good. You know, I, I sell VHS tapes online. And I ha I get a lot of money for those, bro. They have a I don't know why, but they have a huge value. Now I'm talking mostly my adult films. <laughs> I have a, a little adult oh. film, but the adult film, uh, but the yeah the adult films I have are really rare. They're hard to find. You I, you can't just go online and buy them. Since Blockbuster uh, did that fucking um, that Christian bullshit. Yeah. They really screwed up, man. 
I, they really fucked up. They'd still be in business if they didn't fuck up so bad. You know. I mean, don't get me wrong. I do like how they keep the faggots out of, like, Chick-fil-A. And I'm considering they just opened up one here. And because of that, I'm thinking about my next job might be a Chick-fil-A, you know. But at the same time, you know... There should be an adult section in the fucking movie store. There should be, right? Yeah. It's a it's a shame. It's a it's not fair. It's just not fair. Are there blockbuster videos where you live? Not anymore, <clears throat> right? Um, there used to be one, but it shut down about three years ago. Yeah, they're all gone now. So everybody's going to the red so, box stations. Oh, okay. So I was going to ask you. If, yeah, fuck red box, man. You know what I got yesterday? I got a Roku. <clears throat> you know what that is? No, I don't. So the Roku is. Um, do you have Wi-Fi? You have Wi-Fi at your house, right? Like. Uh, not right now. I just got shut off where I'm moving. Oh, man, that's a bummer. All right, well, wherever you go, if you have a TV. I of being in um, my new trailer. Mm -hmm. And actually, it's cheaper for me uh, because I'll be splitting the rent with my dad. Oh, so, how much How much uh, a month will you save in rent? Oh, shit, a shit ton. Like this place, it, it, this place is $7, $100 a month counting utilities. Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna do really good. Oh yeah, you're gonna make out like a king, man. So, oh, yeah. it's a, you're gonna live in a trailer. Yep, a park trailer or a, mo a mobile trailer. Uh, I haven't decided yet. My my father's looking around. He wants to move out of his apartment too. He's up at the Eddie Powell complex. Mm -hmm. He's been staying here the last few days. He's actually like passed out in my living room on the couch. That would be amazing if you uh, lived in a motor, um, you know, to be able to travel around. But those are expensive, I think, to upkeep. Uh, my dad, it, it, he's he's a lot like I used to be. Right. He goes to the bar every fucking night. Oh shit! Really? Wow. He's a local. He's a local at the bar. What's his drink of choice? Is he a beer drinker or does he like like whiskey? He's a beer drinker, but he likes he likes whiskey like I do too. But and the women. He don't he don't drink whiskey too too often because the. <clears throat> well, let me put it this way. When uh, I was with my ex wife, I uh, I was into quite a bit of money, you know, everything I had was fun money. For his birthday, I bought him a bottle of Johnny Walker Black, $40 of scotch. Oh, it's my favorite drink. I love that. Oh, yeah. I know where I can get it for, I get it for 34 a bottle. Damn. Yeah. Up here, it's, it, it's about $10 more than it was there. It's about $53 a bottle here. Mm -hmm. But, uh, this state fucks you on alcohol and cigarette tax. That's one thing I do miss about Russellville. Yeah. But, uh, down there is like forty dollars a bottle. Yeah, that's and, good. Uh, actually, uh, <clears throat> I learned quite a bit after her twenty-one about what liquors uh, affect my dad in different ways. Oh. My dad can bourbon and he's cold. But for some reason, if I give him scotch, uh -huh. it's ragged. I remember I gave him that scotch. He guzzled that motherfucker and hit the bar that night. I get a phone call like two hours later. Son, I need you to come pick me up. So what happened? But it had never mind that. Just Hurry the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> he beat the fuck out of like six people. And oh, no. <laughs> yeah. 
He just left a trail of people laying there. It unleashed a beast. Normally, he drinks on Bud Light and Natural Light. And the funny thing is, though, I can't stand light beers. Yeah, me either. If I'm going to drink, I want to taste it. Oh, yeah. I don't drink just to get drunk, but it helps that I do. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I used to have this friend named Myers. And uh, he used to drink Coors, uh, Coors Light. And I used to make fun of him consistently over that. Being like, you fucking pussy, you might as well be drinking water. For sure. It tastes like water. It does. It's straight up water. Almost. Yeah. Get all fat from that shit and oh man, no thanks. Yeah, fuck that, man. Um, and, and you know another thing, uh, and I see this stupidity very common around here. It's gonna be like. Well, I drink Budweiser because it's an American beer. I go, no, it's not, motherfucker. They're owned by China now. They're like, well, you're drinking that Mexican trash. And like, yeah. But, but yeah, uh, at there you go. I'm trying to fucking boast it based on some bullshit. I just like the taste of it. <laughs> by the way, that movie Tusk is about podcasters. The, the stars of the movie are podcasters. It's great. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's it's, gotta be good. It's trippy, like, man. Oh, it's a trippy show. Okay. Well, how you feeling, Jimmy? It's... Uh, I'm... It's starting to take a little bit of effect. <laughs> it's not. That, Can I record this? It, you... it, takes, it takes a good couple hours. Shit. I'm a lightweight. I'd be on the floor by now screaming. <laughs> I've got Ozzy Osbourne syndrome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's that's good, man. Damn, Jimmy, you are uh, a funny guy. Actually, somewhere in my bloodline, I've got some English ancestry, so maybe I am related to Aussie. Yeah, my um, my mom's dad is from uh, England, so I got some maybe some Aussie in me too. Oh yeah, Hal at the moon. Bark at the moon. Bark at the moon. Mama, I'm fucking stoned. You know, uh, actually, I found a video on YouTube a while back. Uh, I'll see if I can find it here in a minute. But um, it, it, it's the late. Actually, I just got a new album coming out again. Who is it? Oh, he does? No way. I found a, uh, a leak of a song that's called A New Belief in Me. Huh. I'm going to have to check it out. So there might be a new Ozzy record coming out soon. It sounds legit, but uh, it's hard to tell what it is. Yeah. I was thinking Wild Flight went uh, with Zach Wild for Zach Wild. Uh, and uh, the, the very first time I got to see him, he was with Black Sabbath. And he was fucked up and shit at both concerts, man. <laughs> Since he got out on the stage, you could tell he was trash. <laughs> you uh, did you listen to uh the, that one podcast I did uh, about the dirt? Yeah. 
Yeah, where they talked about hanging out. Where, where Nikki was talking about hanging out with Ozzy. Oh. And Ozzy laughing at this and snorting and then some shit. <laughs> they said that he took a shit in Tommy Lee's bathroom and smeared it all over the world. Wait, this was on your podcast? Yeah, I, uh, I did a... Uh, I'm... I'm still doing that thing where I'm reading the dirt. Ah. Uh. It's it's internet shit. But uh yeah, I'm still reading that Motley Crue book. Damn. I'm about halfway through it. I've been real lazy with Spreaker here lately. I've kind of been focusing more on YouTube and where I keep getting this shit in the mail, I keep wanting to do game reviews. Actually I got a, a it ain't so much of the, as a, of a game review, but I got really high, and I put in Virtual Fighter on my Sega Saturn, set it to expert mode, and uh, played through it as much as I could till I got my ass whooped by this one chick, and then I like paused and I was like, hold on a second, I'm gonna beat this bitch. Thirty minutes later, <clears throat> I go, I can't beat it. Fuck it, I'm just gonna let that think because you know. They'll have that continue thing that pops up, and you'll have like ten seconds to start and try again, or it's it hits the game over screen right before it, it hits one. I go, "Fuck you, you fucking whore!" Are you gonna you gonna put a copyright claim on my on my podcast if I play this? <laughs> nah, I like doing some material, man. Actually, I wasn't playing any original material on that, that that piano video you're watching right there. Believe it or not, I'm very new to piano. I've only been playing about seven or eight minutes. Yeah. But I've been a guitarist since I was, like, way old. So. you got to make a theme up, a music... Uh on your keyboard make a make up a theme song for uh, mr midnight movie and i so we'll play Hell it at, yeah. we'll play it at the beginning of our show Hell yeah. Hell yeah maybe i'll use this one nice the first one was the Get Your Bad Guy Nation anthem. Then I was like, you know what, Dr. Chaos, uh, instrumental thing. There it is, that big finale. That's huge. Oh, there's more! Hey, we're on a uh, we're on Spreaker right now, and uh, Reds is in there, and Reds is like, "What's up?" Tell him I said, "What's going down, man?" You say it. You just did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm so> <laughs> I'll pass along the message that you already sent her. <laughs> oh yes, classic. Jimmy is uh, playing video games, and we're just talking. Uh, the The title of this show is "Lunchtime with Trip and Jimmy." Yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, speaking of the Saturn, uh, don't get the Action Replay Plus if you get the uh, Memory Card Plus for the Sega Saturn. Mm -hmm. It basically does the same thing. You can play your Japanese imports on it. That's why I got Nights in the Dreams in the Japanese version. It's just cheaper. Damn, man. I'm, well, next time I go video game shopping, I'm going to make sure you come along. Oh, yeah. So I don't get ripped off. I know. Especially the old school stuff. Yeah. I used to, uh, when the PlayStation 2 came out, I was a pretty big fan of it. But the, when the 3 came out, the loading screens and the bullshit with it, my brother was like, you should have got a 360. And I was like, oh, no, God damn it. Yeah, I had a 360. 
Well, I have, I have, oh. no, I have a PlayStation Four right now. I had a 360 a while ago. I always liked 360s. They were, uh, I mean, Xbox. I always liked Xbox. And then um, I got a PlayStation, and I like it. I just, I don't have many games. I got to go get some games for it. I'm kind of skeptical on this uh, this newest generation of uh, games because uh, one you you've got a lot of issues with uh, the PS4 and the Xbox One right now. Mm-hmm. Kind of have had worrying about whether your games gonna work on day one, shit like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, with the Wii U, you do not have that problem, and I've always been a Nintendo fan, but. It, the thing about the Wii U is there's just a such a slim selection of games for it right now. Mm. And plus, they're already talking about releasing another Nintendo console called the NX. So... Huh. It'll probably be a good collector's item because it's going to be a... It, it looks like this is going to be uh, one of the few flop consoles that Nintendo's produced. Well, I gotta go grab. I gotta go grab some. I gotta go grab some food really quick. Do you, are you gonna hang out for a minute? You want to take a quick break or need anything to do? You gotta run around the neighborhood. Yeah, I'll be. All right. Uh, just give me like three minutes. I'll be right back. All right. But go ahead and talk if you want. It's recording for another three more minutes, and then it's gonna end. Basically, with that, that new Nintendo console, uh, in a few years, you could probably flip it for quite a bit, because when the Virtual Boy flopped, uh, actually, if you get a hold of the Virtual Boy now, you can flip that motherfucker for quite a bit. I think it's up to like $1,000 now. Shit ton of money. Not a good system, but... Nonetheless, <clears throat> it's kind of like an investment, you know, you know, like a like buying stocks, if you will. Take that shit and flip it. I'm definitely gonna have to upload that new fucking uh, video I got to YouTube since I got a minute. situated. Sounds good so far.
If you're out there listening, we're going to restart this podcast in just a minute or two. We'll start fresh. Is that cool, Jimmy? Hell yeah. Hells yeah. All right, we'll do that now.